Well, hey, boys and girls, Mr. Tyler here, ready to do some art with you this week. I'm really excited for our new artist, Frida Kahlo, who is from Mexico. And you've been learning about her from your PowerPoint, and we're going to do uh, some of the style of her art in the next video. So this is the worksheet, so you should have some paper in front of you. You'll need a pencil for this. Uh, so you could follow along with me. I'm doing it on a, a PDF on my computer screen, so I'm going to have my mouse as my pencil. Uh, so it'll be a little harder for me, easier for you. But we're going to practice. This is, this is actually some good practice this week uh, in preparation for the, the, the art video. So make sure you do this and go through. Uh, so really what, what we're learning about is still life. Uh, it's a style of art that Frida Kahlo did and other artists do. Uh, and you can do this too. It's really she would take an, a favorite pet, an animal, uh, or a piece of fruit or a leaf and put it on her table and look at it really closely and try to see all the lines and, sim and, and the ways that the, this object was put together and then draw those simple shapes on the page as um, she was learning uh, and, and putting that paper, putting that art on the paper, making it come to life. And so we're going to practice seeing the shapes and replicating uh, those shapes. And so here we have parts of a bird. She loved to draw. Her favorite pet was Benito, uh, her parrot. And so here's some parts of the bird here. And, uh, and for this, so in the square next to each image, try to draw the exact same image. And do your best to, to make it fill the same amount of space. And so if it's taking up most of the middle, make it take up most of the middle. If the head is going all the way to the edge, try to make it go all the way to the edge. So. Practice that for a little bit, and I will practice it as well with my little pencil here. Let me move it to, I'll, I'll pick gray, because you're using pencil. So I'll pretend I'm using a pencil too, so I have the little middle of that eye, and then the outside of the eye. Okay, so this one, next one's a little tricky. I want the eye to be touching the corner up there, right? And then what is this here? It looks like a beak. I want to draw this beak. And then looks like this is the bottom of the bird. We're going to go whoop, draw some nice feet right here. And Frida Kahlo liked to take up as much space in her page as she could. So we're practicing here, drawing this bird and making it take all the space. And then, oh, I made it take too much space, I think. I'm going to use my handy dandy eraser. because I, I needed room for the beak. It needs to go here. That's a little better. Okay. And let's see, we've got some feathers here and the last feather goes all the way down to the corner, right? There we go. And then we have, this looks like the part of the bird's wing, I'm guessing. What do you think? Okay. So if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video anytime and just keep working on that section. I'm going to go down here to the bottom of this part of the worksheet. And so now we just practiced a lot of the shapes of this bird. What we want to do down here is try to draw the same bird in the empty space. Uh, this is a picture of Benito, her favorite pet. It also means pretty in Spanish. So here's a little trick before you get started. Uh, to, to make sure that we're taking up as much space as we can, 
go through with your pencil and just make a little dot everywhere that the picture of the bird touches the edge. See that? Touches the edge kind of here and then here. So I can see from doing that that this bird takes up, it starts in the top corner and it goes all the way down to the bottom corner. So I'm going to try when I draw the same image to make it fill the same amount of space. So see how, how good we can go. So you can even start maybe in the same spot and then practice drawing the head and the eye. And don't worry about making it totally perfect. Just do your best. The beak, man, mine definitely doesn't look the same, but this is art, and art is meant to just be creative and have fun. So don't worry about that. Okay. And I've got a nice little wing right here. You can go slower than me. Take your time. Hmm. And we're going to try to draw these big tail feathers here. Oops. All the way down to the corner, back up. And don't forget some feet. My computer keeps moving my drawings around. I bet that's not happening on your paper. That's funny. Okay, so there we go. Something like that. You're just working on trying to make this parrot show up on this side and make it fill as much space as you can. So again, push pause if you need to. Keep working on this page. I'm going to go to the next page for everyone. So we're going to, in our next video, I'm really excited. You're going to be I'm going to be joined with my daughter Penny and we are going to do some art in the style of Frida Kahlo. And so we're going to draw a bird and some, um, some fruit that we have uh, on the page. And so we're going to do some still life. So here we practice drawing the bird. Let's practice drawing some fruit. So here we got a watermelon, an orange, and a pineapple. And I like these ones have been cut so you can see some of the inside. So Study all that, study all the lines, and just try to draw the same thing here and use as much space as you can. So it's okay if they need to overlap. Maybe you're drawing one behind the other if you need to. So I'm going to try my best to just draw all the different parts uh, that you see here, down here. And then we want to save this page for our actual art project. So that's the next video where you'll need some crayons or pastels, your colored paper, some pencils, and we're going to have fun putting all this together with some really colorful art. So practice putting this on the paper and then save this page for the next one. So I'm going to do my best. Let's see. If you have ever tried to draw with a mouse on a computer, kind of hard. I prefer pencils. It's kind of fun though. So here I'm going to actually make my orange going behind my watermelon. But I'm still going to draw that slice of orange stuck out there because that's pretty cool. It's got some seeds in there. Nice. And then finally draw a little pineapple. It's kind of like an oval, but it's a little wavy. And it's got those circles all over it. I think pineapple is one of my favorite fruits to eat. I wonder what your favorite fruit is. 
let me show you this so you can kind of see the even trace this with your finger maybe but the leaves of this pineapple are really fascinating because you it kind of goes up and then it bends right here and so you're seeing a little triangle coming forward but it makes it look like it's a leaf that's bent forward you can even see that on my finger or if you happen to have a pineapple or a leaf or a piece of paper you can kind of see that and so this is a way to how do you draw a leaf that's folded and it's kind of like that so let's draw a few of those Oops. Great. And if you have some extra time and you have your crayons or your pastels, feel free to color this in as well. But that's all for now. Uh, you're going to want to save this page. This is the third page of your little art project. Make sure you save this page and you bring it with you. Actually bring all these pages with you to the art video next time. We're going to use these. Uh, so that's, that's, this is an important thing to have and helpful as well. And so bring all of these pages to your art video. I'm really excited to join you with Penny and we're gonna uh, work on putting all this together in a really beautiful way, seeing some bright colors and drawing our parrots and our fruits. And yeah, so see you next time. Bye boys and girls.